Do you think that it is too late for you on your health and weight releasing journey? Do you think that you've just got too much, you've built, you've dug yourself such a deep hole that you're never going to get out of it, that you've got too many health problems or other problems that um, it's just, it's too far gone. I want you to be encouraged today, my friend. It's Kathy here. I'm with Weight Loss God's Way, and I want to talk to you about not letting your past, not letting the diagnosis, not letting your current state determine what the future is going to be like for you. I want you to get freedom from some of those limiting beliefs and from from some of the past decisions that you made that you might still be living out now. And so this month I've been talking about fear and I've been talking about the fears that show up in your weight releasing journey that maybe you didn't even realize how big the fears are that have been impacting your success. And so today I want to go to Genesis uh, 32 and in 2324 it's actually a bigger section but we're talking about Jacob today we're talking about Jacob um, getting ready to return back home to face his brother to face his brother Esau who he deceived who he tricked out of his birthright and so God calls Jacob back home and of course his first response is fear right? What's his brother going to do? His brother's going to take revenge on him. And just let me give you a little bit of background about Jacob because Jacob had a past. In fact, at his birth, the name Jacob, he lived out his name. His name is, uh, we can sum it up as deceiver. So he was deceptive. Right at birth, even, he grabbed onto his brother's heel, came out first uh, before his brother. So he was born with uh, stigma, with that, that, uh, that trait of being a de deceiver. And he actually lived it out in a, a lot of his life. And so we might not have names that attached onto us, but we might have things like diabetes has been part of my family or heart disease or all my family's been overweight. You know, those those things that those, those, what should I call them? History, health history, that sometimes we just get passed from one generation to one generation. And we believe that, well, my mama and my grandmama and my great grandmother were all overweight. So that's gonna be my fate. And I wanna encourage you and let you know that despite the past, Despite all that you've done, despite what your family history might be, it does not have to determine your future. And so let's get on with the story. So Jacob packs up his family and in true Jacob form, he says he devises a plan to split his family. He's got a huge family. Let's split them in half. So in case half of my family gets wiped out, I still have the other half, right? So it's not all over for my legacy. I guess kind of smart. Anyway, um, while he's going back to his homeland, he goes goes for a walk and there he encounters somebody. We, we understand that that somebody is God and he wrestles with this angel all night long, wrestles, wrestles, wrestles. And in this wrestling is where something breaks out of him, off him. And God, at that point, in that encounter with God, God changes his name. And so that's where God changes his name from Jacob, the one who wrestles, to Israel. He is free. He wins. He is that past that he's been dragging along. He no longer has to live from that anymore. And so I want you to be encouraged because Jacob was afraid of going back home. He had this lineage of being a deceiver and God gave him a new name. And so that's the part for us is believe that God will give you a new name. Believe that God has promises for you and he is faithful to fulfill those promises. You might be thinking, it's too far, I'm too far gone. 
you know, I keep self-sabotaging myself in my health journey. Um, I've got a long history of health diseases. I'm, I'm not capable of doing all the things that I need to do right now in order to get healthier. Like all of that, be encouraged. Know that God has made promises to you. You know where God is calling you. You know that God did speak a word into you about your health. And that's why you're here right now. And so be encouraged regardless of what your past is. I want you to believe that your future is bright, that you can move forward. Yes, it will take wrestling. Yes, it's all right. God is good with wrestling. He is good with the struggle because know that it is when you have that intimate encounter with him, when you go through the wrestling and the pressing and the pruning, that God is preparing you, that he's stripping things off of you that had no business being part of you, that cannot go along into your promised land, that can't go along with you if you're going to have victory. So be encouraged. Know that regardless of what your past history is, that there is promises for you that God will fulfill his promise to you you can do it you can achieve your healthy weight you can break free of the diabetes or the high blood pressure or the cholesterol or all those things that currently hold you back regardless of what you're struggling with now believe the change is on the way your assignment is to spend time with God yes do the wrestling and know that you will achieve your healthy weight amen so that's my share for today. If you're new, go ahead and hit subscribe. Normally I share as I'm out for my morning walk, but today um, just changing it up a little bit. So I'm out in the backyard, but I look forward to seeing you again and be sure to check out some of my other videos. They're all related to faith and health. God bless you. Bye-bye.